Shakur Stevenson with Lomachenko out. Could he face Javante Davis? Ego thoughts, man. Now, ego thoughts, I told you I'm taking it back to the basics. Just giving you guys my thoughts on different things. A lot of people have been asking my opinion on Lomachenko's out. I made several videos about that. But what about Shakur Stevenson stepping up, fighting Javante Davis in November in lieu of Lomachenko now being out and really ducking and pulling out? And I've made several videos about that. I don't care what none of y'all talking about. Lomachenko ducked. People keep saying, oh, but Javante ducked too. No, they were never in negotiations until recently where they were in deep negotiations and Lomachenko just decided, quote, he is not in the mood to fight Tank Davis. Despite the magnitude of the fight, despite what's on the line, despite it being a unification, your best excuse is you are not in the mood. That's crap. That is horrible. Horrible for the state of boxing for fighters to no longer be in the mood. What happened to the days of like Sugar Ray Robinson? He would fight multiple times a month or every two weeks and stuff like that. And I'm not expecting to that extreme, but for fighters to now be so comfortable where they're like, ah, I could pass up this huge opportunity and money make it fight for the fans because I'm not in the mood. No injuries, no real reason, no like quick turnaround. You just don't want to fight that's weak to me so it begs the question what about Shakur Stevenson listen I'm gonna say it again because I have new viewers every day ego I personally do not really want to see Gervonta Davis versus Shakur Stevenson I will explain why that is my personal opinion however as you guys know I don't get in the way of fights i don't like use my voice and platform to stop fights that are meaningful that would be a unification so if it does happen so be it i will watch it you know i'm not gonna front there but it's just not the preferred fight i actually like the lomachenko fight a lot but he's not available or not willing or whatever so it is what it is so in lieu of that yeah, make the Shakur Stevenson fight. But I'm just saying for me personally, I'm not thrilled about the fight because come on, man, you can beat around the bush. You and I know how the fight will likely play out. People, it's like the old quote. Somebody has a quote where it says, if somebody shows you who they are, you got to tend to believe them. Shakur has shown me his best work and you know the mid work I, I won't say he looked horrible or anything like that but i just i've seen enough of shakur to know how this fight will play out Gervonta davis is a legendary puncher like to the point where you got a guy like bob arum who doesn't particularly say a lot of great things about fighters that have no involvement with his company especially like a black american fighter like you know he'll say stuff like oh floyd's boring and stuff like that so for Bob Arum to say a guy who has totally nothing to do with his promotion, top rank, and liken him to a, a generation he was involved in boxing for and say Tank is the hardest lightweight puncher since Roberto Duran, I feel like that's heavy praise. Again, you got it with Bob Arum, you got to take it with a grain of salt when he's talking about praise of his own fighter because he'd be like, Terrence Crawford, he's like Ray Lennon. He's he's unbeatable in Lomachenko. He's like Muhammad Ali, right? And then when Crawford leaves him, it was like Crawford sucks. You know, Crawford's a waste of my money. Crawford needs a better res. You know, he start dishing out all the negatives about Terrence Crawford, right? Lomachenko has stayed loyal to top rank, so we haven't really seen that. You know, but at the end of the day, that's kind of the MO I've seen from Bob Arum. And then when it's a fighter like Deontay Wilder or Mayweather, who either never had anything to do with this company or no longer has anything to do with this company, sometimes he does that as well. So for him to be like praising, keeping on praise for Javante Davis, I actually think he's being honest there. Now, Shakur Stevenson, 
again, I've seen him fight. I've studied his fights. I've re watched a few of them because a lot of them don't have replay value. Let's just be real, especially coming off of his last two performances. Now, let me put this into perspective because a lot of you guys may not understand what I'm talking about. The bottom line is this. You got a guy like Shakur Stevenson, who is a cerebral fighter and educated. Usually, as their careers progress, since they are already intelligent fighters, the performances crescendo and the performances go up because now they're just super comfortable. But for real, for real, Shakur's performances have regressed as he's come to the lightweight division, right? His best, his only knockout is Yoshino. And that's just the reality of, of what it is. You know what I mean? So against a monstrous puncher who has multiple fighting styles in Javante Davis, I really truly feel like that would be a lackluster event for pay-per-view. Now, again, it's a unification, but I tell you, belts don't really matter anymore. And I told you for me, I'm not sold by just belts. Belts are, are overrated in boxing because they're so easy to obtain. Then you have situations like some people get stripped ASAP and then other people like Canelo hold the belts hostage and they never, the WBC never forced Canelo to fight Benavidez. So it's just a lot of politics. So I don't really care about it just being a unification. In terms of a consumer, I don't think it'll be a big fight. If they can make the fight, I know the public will act like they're happy for it. But for me, it's it's just not that enthralling. That's just my honest opinion. Ego thoughts.